Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for the likes. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Love and respect. Wow, these are two words that have been used time and time again over centuries. And I want to speak on it. I think we have been taught a program to have the wrong understanding of what love and respect is. And so uh, this video won't be long. Just touch on it and get out, in and out. Now, this video is for men and women. I know usually I, I speak to men, even though I do have a lot of female support. I have a lot of female support for the book, A Toast to the Men. I have a lot of female support for my YouTube channel. Uh, go by the same name, A Toast to the Men. But typically I, I speak directly to men because I am a man and I don't really speak directly to women because most women would take it as attack, like I'm attacking them because I can't be inclusive when speaking to them. When men, with men, I could say we or our, but I can't do that with women. So, you know, it, it may be seen as, seen, uh, seen as an attack. And, um, you know, you got a you gotta question, you know, do I want to be understood or be heard? So I want to be understood. So if my words are coming off as, as attack, even though it's true, um, it's pointless. And I'm not for the pandering either. So, hey, I speak to men. But this video is for men and women. Love and respect. Now, if you look at Webster's Dictionary, both of these, these words would be defined as a feeling of great admiration. So uh, that's how it's described in Webster's. So right off the bat, we can see it's defined and it lives according to Webster. And in, in men, most men and women, uh, on a in, on an emotional vibration and uh, a feeling. So I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem we run into when dealing with each other in the world, uh, dealing with men, dealing with women, men dealing with men, women dealing with uh, women, uh, from a friendship level, from a uh, intimate level, from a platonic level, family, relation level, we have the wrong definition and the wrong understanding of what love and respect is. So I'm gonna challenge people to uh, reprogram themselves. Now you may say, I mean, who, who are you to redefine it? Uh, well, who is Webster? It's a man, he's a man, I'm a man. So, you know, I have the right to uh, voice my opinion and define uh, a word the way I see fit based on logic and studies and uh, evidence. So through my evidence, through my studying, I come to find out that uh, love and respect isn't a feeling or emotion at all. And that's why, you know, we run into problems. I mentioned that in the Toast to the Man, I have a whole chapter about love. So we, we should love and have respect for one another based on principle, based on principle, not emotion. A lot of times we, we put the uh, responsibility on the other person, uh, to, to uh, dictate how we're going to respond, to dictate if we're going to love them, to dictate if we're going to respect them. And that's emotion, that's feeling. When you live on principle, on scruples, solid scruples, regardless of what that person does, these are your principles and they don't, they don't change, they don't shake, they don't fold because they're principles. Uh, they're they're uh, planted in solid foundation. They're not fickle. So I think that's what we got to get to. We got to really reprogram ourselves and uh, live on principle when it comes to love and respect. Now, love, the word love has lost its luster. Uh, we use it often. Uh, we wake up using it. If, we, if you live with someone, you got a spouse, you wake up using it, you go to bed using it. Throughout the day, you use it. Throughout texting, we use it. I, I think it's lost its luster. And uh, it's true. 
this true uh, potency. And uh, it's because it's taken for granted and we have the wrong understanding of what love is. So let's take out the feeling and I want you to challenge yourself to see love meaning to consider. To consider. That's what love means. To consider. Uh, I want to challenge you to reprogram yourself about the word respect. It's not a feeling. Respect means to acknowledge. Now, there's an old adage that women want love, men want respect. And I agree. I agree for the most part. Um, it's probably 80-20. Men want respect 80% of the time, love 20% of the time. Women want love 80% of the time, respect 20% of the time. They may not admit it, but the truth of the matter is um, most women have uh, been disrespected in relationships, especially in relation intimate relationships, and stuck around. Uh, I mean, outright disrespected and stuck around because deep inside they felt that their spouse loved them. So they stuck around for the so-called disrespect. I mean, they could deny it, but hey, it is what it is. The facts are the facts. Now, does this apply to all women? No, but I'm not gonna speak to a mere 10% or 5% or 2% of women. It doesn't apply to, uh, I'm speaking to the masses, the meat of the population. So uh, we've proved that. Uh, we've, we've, uh, it's been shown that men, uh, you know, will, will stick around even if, she, even if he feels that she doesn't love him the way we view love typically, but she respects him. So, uh, I don't know one man that complains, uh, or has complained about his spouse not loving him ever, ever, but we know there are women that are with men that don't love them. I don't, I don't hear the complaints from men. I have heard men complain about not being respected. So that goes to show you that I'm probably right. <laughs> men won't respect more than love, probably 80, 20. And women won't love more than respect, probably 80, 20. Now we got to get to what the true meaning of these words are. It's not a feeling. We got to live on principle, on a principle vibra vibration. Um, men, love, we got to consider the woman. And not just her, when we love, we got to consider how our actions, or our movements, our behavior affects people. Uh, how it affects our children, the mental state the spiritual state, the emotional state, how it affects them. We gotta consider how our actions and speech and movements affect our woman from a mental aspect, the spiritual aspect, the emotional aspect. We gotta consider how it affects them. That's love. Love is not all this googly stuff, man, this googly feeling and just saying it. It's to consider someone, to consider the long-term and short-term effects your actions will have on them. That's what true love is. So we got to get out of this, this emotional vibration on what love is and get back to the principal meaning of it. Uh, women, respect, your, respect your, your men. Respect your children. Respect your house. Respect your community. Meaning, acknowledge. And knowledge that this man has a, has a masculinity and he chooses not to break me in two. But he's been gifted and blessed as a man to uh, have strength and muscles and testosterone that can really hurt me. And he chooses not to. That's a lot of self-control. Acknowledge that. Give that the proper respect. Acknowledge that this man does have an ego. Don't bruise it. Acknowledge that um, he is a man. He is doing his part. He is, he is the head. He is the lead. Don't emasculate him. Acknowledge him, especially in front of other people. Uh, that's the worst thing. So we got to get back to 
Respect meaning to acknowledge and love meaning to consider. These are sound principles. Got nothing to do with feelings or how we feel. And we got to also uh, stop passing the onus on someone else about if we're going to love and respect them. If you can't consider and, and acknowledge them, your heart is that hard, hey, break off the relationship. But you shouldn't put yourself through hell, put someone else through hell, and especially if kids are around, putting them through that hell or saying that. Because again, you're not showing consideration or acknowledgement. It's all selfish. It's all selfishness. It's all ego. And uh, that's not love. That's not love. It's not respect. So if you can't do it, if you can't still show consideration and acknowledgement to a person, pull out the relationship. That's the best thing to do before uh, it leaves long-term damage that, that can't be replaced, can't be repaired, or, or it's going to be um, a long road to repair that damage. Um, so there, there's an old saying to love, uh, respect is to be earned. And like I said, I disagree. If it's your true principles, uh, part of your principles to be respect, uh, to have respect in it and love, you're gonna love and respect someone and your community regardless, regardless of how that person is acting. So I think we gotta take accountability. We gotta say, I'm gonna love and respect you regardless. And I'm gonna be a lovable and respectable person. See, each of us have to do that. Say, we're gonna be a lovable and respectable person and I'm gonna give love and respect. I'm gonna give acknowledgement and consideration to my people in my circle, to my community, and to the world. Uh, when we do that, man, when we live on that principle, I think we'll see, I know we'll see a lot of change. But right now, things are off balance because we're living emotionally. And so, uh, you know, like I say, emotions are fickle and they're not solid, they're fluid. So you can love and respect someone, someone one day and be totally opposite the next day based on how you feel. That's not cool, especially for men, brother. That, that's really not cool. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I want to end this by saying, I want to challenge people. Uh, I want to challenge the man and the woman to reprogram themselves and to use uh, different wording when expressing love and respect. I want women to say, instead of telling your man that you love him, tell him, I respect you. So before you go to bed, before you go to work, throughout the day, through text, don't say I love him. Don't ever tell him I love you. Because we don't, we really don't care about that. I'm telling you. But start telling him, I respect you. And let's see how it affects you personally and how the effect it has on him and the household. Brothers, I want to challenge you. Uh, you can still say I love you. Because women love to hear that, man. They love to hear that. That's for them. That's really not for us. That's for them. But I challenge you to also change the word in a bit. And instead of saying I love you, say I consider you. Yeah. Say I consider you. And see what the effect it has. See the effect it has on yourself personally and it has on your woman and your household. Yeah, I rest. I, 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 I uh, consider you, and I acknowledge you. Put those two words, those two phrases, in your vernacular, and let's see the effect it has. All right, brothers, sisters, let's change the narrative. Let's change it. Let's operate on a principal vibration. You know, uh, I had a talk with someone recently. They say they want passion. They love passion. Passion is good, man, but passion has to be really monitored. And uh, we got to live a life structured with principles, right? And then add some passion to it. And like I said, I speak on that uh, in that chapter, the love chapter, in the Toast to the Man. 
and that's drink six. I speak on that. And uh, that chapter is called, that drink is called Love is Law, right? I say love is feeling, love is law. Come on, man, let's, let's challenge ourselves, let's do better, let's build, all right? For me to you, I consider you, I acknowledge you. Peace.